Ladies, hi and welcome back to the Creating One podcast. So I wanted to hop on here and and say, um, you know, men often complain that women nag them. And some of the nagging is true. You do do it. You don't know how to stop. And it's irritating. I know it's irritating to men. It's also irritating to your friends, your sisters, your mother, your daughters, your nieces, your aunties. It's annoying. Case in point. I have lived here for probably two weeks now. And you don't know how, not a significant number, but I have been trying to communicate to people that I am in a very different spiritual place than it was when I planned this move, when I made the drive down and when I arrived. Every day I am evolving and it's costing no one anything but me. And yet I have so many people who keep asking me, can they share, can I share pictures? I need to see the space. I want to see the space. You know, I want to see the space. Referring to this as my home when I've already said that's changed. It's a pass through. Yes, I am living in this space. I'm getting mailed to this space, but I am on a spiritual retreat. This is not a game. Stop asking me for pictures and video. Yes, I might have said that at one time. Things are changing. The more you nag, the more you make people want to withdraw from you. To be honest with you, I don't even know how women can be in relationships with other women. I'd rather be asexual than to be in a relationship with a nagging woman. I don't even know how you all do it. God bless you. But some of you are annoying. You don't know when to shut up. I heard you when you asked the first time. It's still no. I want my privacy. You ask again. And you ask as if you forgot you are making what you want a priority and you're not listening. And many of you all do it. You do it and you wonder why you're called a nag. And the most annoying thing about it is you are making those of us who don't do that look bad. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. And it is no until I say otherwise. 